Hello, everybody. Um, we are continuing the topic of the Makip Thiele diagram. Um, so previously, we showed how we can do the process for drawing the uh, operating equilibrium line and all the the, uh, the stages for the top and bottom sections. Um, and this was was totally fine for the ideal systems where the um, the equilibrium curve was calculated from the relative volatility. Um, and we saw that we need to calculate to get the the reflux ratio. We get we need to get the minimum reflux ratio first by um, getting the intersection of the Q line with the uh, equilibrium curve and then uh, getting the, what we call the pinch point and then um, connecting this uh, XD XD point to the uh, pinch point and then getting the intersection or the intercept and then we get uh, the R minimum and later we can calculate the R uh, from the um, a ratio like 1.2, 1.3, whatever the, the ratio uh, between the R uh, minimum to R and then we can calculate the actual R and draw the top section line. And this was perfectly fine and we did the, the code on MATLAB and it was working pretty fine. But this is not actually the case for all the systems. There are some systems like the uh, the one that we see here um, and this is uh, the system that we uh, did the fitting for in the previous video. And that's why I needed to do the fitting first so I can get an equation that uh, describes this kind of difficult shape to fit uh, well. So I can get a, an equi a curve that, or an equation that will, will follow the same, uh, the same shape. Um, so in, in such a case, if you, if you want to get the R minimum with the same way, then you will use the Q line to get the um, intersection with the uh, equilibrium curve, and then we would get the pinch point. If you connect the pinch point to the top section or the, the, the XD, XD line, then you would see that this is the uh, R minimum line. And actually, this is not the actual R minimum. This is this is uh, totally wrong, um, and this is because the the R minimum should be the reflex ratio or the the um, the value of uh, of the reflex ratio when the top section just touches uh, the equilibrium curve. Uh, the first the first point to touch it um, and this this was okay here because uh, it, it wouldn't touch the equilibrium curve before this point so this was the the pinch point um, but in this case if you if you look at this line you'd see that it it intersected the uh, equilibrium curve here and here and all this region the equilibrium curve is above the top section uh, I, they, uh, the, I mean the top section is above the equilibrium curve which is totally unacceptable because you have to have the top section below the equilibrium curve so you can you can have a driving force because in this case you will have no driving force actually um, and that's why this is not a right uh, uh, top section line uh, or, or the R minimum top section line and the right um, top section R minimum line uh, would be this line when you uh, get a line that is tangent to the equilibrium curve at this point so when you write, uh, draw the curve like this, you will be able to get the uh, minimum reflux ratio. Uh, so you have to, to do this check first before you do the uh, calculations for R minimum, because you can get the R minimum this way, and then you do the calculations based on this, this, this value of R minimum. Um, and remember that when we do the, the, the codes, we don't see the curves or we don't see the, the equation, uh, the, the, the plot. You just do everything and then everything is plotted at the end. So in, in this case, it will it will go for an infinite uh, number of stage calculations and the, the code will not generate any results. So you have to do kind of check on the R minimum to make sure that for all the values of X, between this point which was the x pinch and the xd you have the y of the equilibrium curve is greater than the y of the top section so that is it you, you know that this is the right value of our minimum so when we do this in matlab what i would do is to um, do the same procedures that we followed before to get the uh, x pinch and y pinch which is this point um, which is uh, the intersection of the Q line with the equilibrium curve, and then you need to check if the 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 value of of the y of the equilibrium curve is smaller than the y of the top section. In in 
every or all this this uh, region uh, between here and here or even for a small part of it like this 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 part um, then this is not going to be the right value of our minimum uh, otherwise you need to uh, or, or in this case I'm sorry you need to um, find the other value of our minimum so for the sake of time in this video I'm gonna just go through this this part uh, only is to to check if our minimum is right or wrong so i'm gonna go for uh, calculate x pinch and y pinch and then you check that there are no intersections before this and this is by getting um, um I, I will get many points or many values of x between here and here and for all these values you would calculate this y and this y and kind of uh, compare these two values um, in the next video, we'll see if, if this is not the right R minimum, how can we get the R minimum? But, but this, this is the topic of the next video. So let's, let's go to MATLAB now and see how we can deal with it. So what I did here, just to keep you in the loop, is that I, um, I stopped all the parts uh, that follow the R minimum. So now the part of uh, plotting the number or, or the stages for the bottom section and the stages for the top section, this is all not included now because this will generate a lot of errors when the the um, the R minimum is, is not right. Um, and the, the second thing is that I um, I now uh, will will put the uh, the new equation that describes the non-ideal system uh, which we generated from the previous video so this is the the equation the new equilibrium relation and I will just do the run for getting drawing the Q line and for drawing the top section line and the bottom section lines and you'd see that this is what you will get from the uh, plot using the R minimum um, and and just I want you to to see that the top section line is above the equilibrium curve for all the values of x for the whole region. And just to uh, to tell you what what the problem will be if I I use like two times the R minimum and I run the file, you still have part of the uh, top section line above is above the equilibrium curve. So even if you go for double this R minimum, it's not going to be the right R minimum. So you have to to first check uh, in this video, you will need to check if this is right or wrong. So what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to go here. I, I, I calculated the R minimum from here. This is what we did before. I'm going to start a new section for checking on the R minimum. And for this check, I'm going to name a new um, um, a new parameter that I'm gonna call x check, which is gonna start from x intersect, uh, or I mean, I mean x pinch, and going to I can go for use len space, which is gonna be good from x pinch with uh, or I mean going to x d. I'm gonna put 100 points, so I have a lot of points to cover the whole region. Um, um, I, I don't want to include x pinch because x pinch is a point where the the uh, the top section and the equilibrium curve at at the R minimum uh, that I calculated before will be equal. So I will go a little bit after the x pinch. So I'm gonna add 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.01, whatever the value that you want to put is 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 okay for me. It's not a big deal. Um, so this is what I did is just I put some values for x starting from this point to xd and I want to of course I'm, I'm doing this code because I'm not gonna see anything this is what my lab will do but I'm, I'm just telling you what what we see and what we needed to do so this is x check and we will calculate um, the value of so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the check or our minimum check which is gonna be the um, different so it's gonna be a function handle um, or it doesn't need to be a function we can we can put it as a difference between the uh, the top section where is the top section equation here is the top section equation uh, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna call it top section R minimum uh, and this is gonna be calculated from R minimum this is from R minimum this is from R minimum so this is an equation that uh, a function handle that calculates um, the y um, 
based on the value of x using for the top section using the uh, r minimum value so it's gonna be the top section r minimum of x check minus the y equation or equilibrium of x check so what you would expect from this part of the uh, or, or this equation is that you would calculate um, 100 values because I have here 100 values so I calculate 100 values for uh, the top section and 100 values for the bottoms or, or for the y uh, equilibrium curve and I would get the difference if I have a case like the the ideal case um, the the top section is smaller than the uh, y equilibrium for all the values then the 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 top section is totally below the equilibrium curve after the the pinch point to xd which which is what which is okay or this is what i want to do so um i don't really care about the values but let, let's let's do it here and see um so now i have values here um and you see the the values are all positive which means that except the very last one which means that for all the region the top section is more than the equilibrium curve or, or, or above the equilibrium curve uh, it's okay to see the numbers but i don't really care about the numbers uh, i i want to make sure that there are some numbers that are greater than or equal to zero okay so this is what i want to check now so the output would be uh would be logical uh which which I'm, I'm checking if it's true or false so it's true the the this this is true for all the values starting from 1 to 99 except the 100 the number 100 again i don't really care how many values are greater than or equal to zero i i just want to know if there are any so i i'm gonna use the find function we talked about this before so the find function would tell me if there are some values or not so if i run the file it's gonna tell me it is in column one two three four five whatever uh, it didn't give me number 100 here and this is what i'm what I, why i did the find because I, I i don't want to see number 100 um so now if if i have values here that are uh greater than or, or uh, th th that have this this check uh, uh, is is true or this this condition that I put here if this is true for for one or two points then it will give me an a matrix of two cells if it's hundred points it give me a matrix of hundred cells if it, whatever so I, I want to find if what is the length of this okay so when I get the length what I see is give me one number, which is exactly what I'm, I'm trying to do. If I get any number which is greater than zero, then I have some points that do not fulfill the or, or that fulfill this check. OK, which means that the, the R minimum is not right. So if the length is zero, then the, the R minimum check is zero. And this is when I know that the R minimum is right okay so uh, just to double check i will use the uh, the old y equilibrium so I, what i'm gonna do like a small tweak and call this y equilibrium one and y equilibrium two and i would uh, write that y equilibrium is a function handle and it's either y equilibrium one or y equilibrium two so i'm, I'm gonna check you know, just pick who, which one of these that i'm gonna use so i'm i'm, I'm make it one now so um i'm, I'm picking this so what I did is that I'm, I'm using this this line to pick which one of these is the equilibrium curve that I'm going to use. So when you see this, the R minimum check is zero, which is great. So I now know that the R minimum check is zero when this is right. Again, let's do the plot for the R minimum, not double the R minimum. So when I do the check, it is zero which means that i i have a good r minimum or the right r minimum for the second equilibrium curve i run the file it's giving me a number that is greater than zero so what i can do now is to uh do a, a, a quick uh, check um is to I'm, I'm done with this now so i can uh, say that if r minimum check is greater than zero then um, I will display, for instance, uh, our minimum is not right. Else, when it is 
uh, zero then I will display our minimum is right okay and I will end it again run the file so the output that I got is our minimum is not is not right for this case and for uh, the equilibrium curve the ideal equilibrium curve the R minimum is right which is awesome now so I can now tell whatever the equation that I'm using for the equilibrium curve if using using this um, this where did it go this check here um, I'm sorry uh, yeah this check here I can tell if uh, starting from here if the R minimum is right or wrong so it's it's just two lines uh, this 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 is not important actually I'm not gonna use it in the future but just I'm putting this to tell you that if our minimum is right or wrong uh, but this is great to use if you know uh, wanna check if our minimum is right or wrong so this is uh, what I'm gonna say in this video um, for the next video you'll see if the R minimum is not, is not right how you can pick the right value of R minimum so I'll see you then inshallah goodbye